but what I find most interesting is every time I approached wild baboons, they would never retreat into a tree. Rather, they will take flight over a long distance. Perhaps baboons know our full primitive strengths and capabilities better than we know ourselves. Well, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a trick, and this is to do with approaching primates so you can get nice in and close. Now, the funny thing about a primate is they're all about eyes. Now, there's a baboon just over my right-hand side, or your left-hand side, and the funny thing is, I can get relatively close to him, you see? As long as I keep my head forwards and my direction and my eyesight forwards, I don't see him as much as a, a, as a predator or as a threat to this animal. So I can actually keep moving in on distance, getting closer, and he's actually not going to move. He's going to sit there, he's probably just playing around with the dirt, looking for insects, looking for roots, and he hasn't yet seen me as a threat. But as soon as I turn around, it's a different story. As soon as he sees my eyes, watch. Straight away, he looks for a tree, he looks for an escape. But if I keep my head forward, I'm no, no problem to him. As soon as I look at this animal, he starts getting nervous. Any sort of predator that makes eye contact with an animal like this, he starts getting nervous. Once again, I can move backwards. He's gonna keep looking up into the trees, I can move backwards again. He's fine, he's not moving. But as soon as I turn around, bang, make eye sight, boom, he wants to move away. As soon as he sees my eyes, bang, alert, boom, tree, I'm going away. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> look at his lips. What are Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor.